Welcome back to the channel, everybody. So this isn't exactly a video that I really enjoy making, but I think it's an important topic to discuss and put out there. And what I want to talk about with you today is the rise in bogus, lame, deceptive websites geared towards rock hounding. Now, if you haven't seen these websites, I'm sure you will at some point. Uh, they seem to be ranking extremely well uh, on Google search engines. And uh, I'd like to lay out for you what these websites actually are and uh, kind of give you some resources to help you verify some of the things that they that they tell you. Um, so there is at least five or six of these right now, and there's probably going to be more. And basically what these websites do, uh, they all kind of have a, a theme to them almost. Uh, they are websites that use rock hounding location information to get you to go to their website so that they can do Amazon affiliate marketing to you. Now, let's take a second and talk about what Amazon affiliate marketing is. Um, I'm an Amazon affiliate and the way I use it and the way I think that it is fair and honest way to use it would be something that I have personally purchased that I find to be very valuable and useful in my uh, rock hounding, lapidary, whatever things that I do, mineral identification. Um, I can make a custom link, okay? And uh, example, right? Like these guys, these mineral hardness picks, right? I love these things. I use them all the time. I think they're absolutely worth it in every way. Well, if I put a link down below and I disclose like, oh, I'm Amazon affiliate link. If you click it and you buy this thing, I get like a teeny tiny amount of money, right? Um, and, and that, okay. So that's, I do that. Everybody's doing that. And that's the way that goes. Um, people use Amazon. What can I say? Um, these websites though, they have taken all of the information from rock hounding books and uh, DNR publications, USGS publications, all these historical documents and put it all out there in map form and do that as a way to draw you to their website so that they can show you ads. Now, none of the information that they have, I believe, is verified in any, any way. Now, we're going to talk a little bit about red flags, okay? Um, if somebody, then this goes for person-person uh, -person interactions with people in real life, on the internet, uh, books, things of that nature, okay? If somebody tells you to go to a location and they've never gone there themselves, do not take it with a grain of salt, okay? Um, if somebody tells you to go to a location and they have no photos of the location, no photos of the material, they probably haven't actually gone there. If they say, oh, well, I've lost those photos, I lost those rocks, they probably haven't ever been there. Um, it may not be a place that worth going to or a place you could even technically go to. So something to take into consideration. Um, me personally, having I have a pretty good understanding of what it takes to have an in-depth understanding of the geology and rock counting of a specific location, such as North Idaho, Eastern, Northeastern Washington. I am now just barely kind of grasping these areas, okay? So to think that some individual out there has a grasp and understanding of 40, 45, 50 states is laughable at best in my opinion. Almost all of these websites, they uh, make sure to tell you how long they've been rock hounding. They're like, I've been rock hounding for 10 years, 15 years, 30 years. I'm a geologist. I'm this, I'm that. As a way of building, uh, mm, making themselves out to be an authority on the subject. Which, first off, uh, just because you've been doing something a long time doesn't mean you're good at it. Uh, just because you finished a college program in geology does not mean you're good at rock counting. And most geologists will tell you that. I mean, the study of geology is large geological systems. Uh, and a lot of geologists work in the oil and gas industry. They are not going to be able to tell you where to go find agates, okay? That's two separate things. Yeah, you can be a geologist and a rock hound. You can be a rock hound and go to school to be a geologist. But two separate things, okay? Let's, let's just Unless otherwise noted. Um, 
what else? Uh, so they don't tell you where they came, where the information came from. Okay, and that's important. So um, these books, right? They can be an excellent start, but they, we've proven here on this channel a number of times they have large mistakes in them, and you should be verifying everything that's in these books. Now, I, at this point, I have read hundreds of DNR, USGS, uh, uh, vintage um, geo uh, field geologist notebooks, handwritten notebooks that have been scanned, um, just tons and tons and tons of documents. Now, when they say that they, there's a mineral discovery in an area, okay, let's just talk about this for a second. When they say there's a mineral discovery in an area, they don't tell you of the quantity of it, uh, generally speaking, they don't tell you the quantity, they don't tell you anything, right? They'll just say, garnet, okay? And uh, when I say garnet, what are you thinking about? Are you thinking about, are you thinking about a garnet like this, right here, this guy? How about that? Can we focus on this? Can we focus? I gotta cover up my face. There we go. Are you thinking of a garnet like that? Are you thinking of a garnet like that? Well, most often, they're gonna be uh, actually talking about garnets like this. These like cruddy, highly decayed uh, garnets, right? <laughs> They, 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 but they just say garnet. You have no idea, right? So unless you go out and you personally verify it or you're following somebody that personally verifies these things, it could be totally bogus, right? They're simply trying to draw your eyes to their website to make sales. Um, and and that's, that's that. Let's just call it what it is. Um, now, down below in the description box, I'm going to put as many resources as I can for you to verify these things. Because one of the stuff things they do is they'll make a map, a Google map. And on that Google map, they will have GPS locations to location places to go rock on. Um, they say approximate GPS, which uh, there is no such thing as approximate GPS. GPS is exact. That's the whole point of GPS. It'd be like saying like, Oh, my house is approximately three bedrooms. What does that even mean? Um, I'm approximately five foot nine. I'm either five seven, five eight, five nine, five ten, five eleven. Like, what am I? You can't. These are exact units of measurement. They say approximate to get around sending you to people's private property, right? And uh, you can go verify this for yourself. Um, I personally like to use Gaia GPS, which is a paid service. It's like $32 a year, and I use it on my phone, and I use it on, um, on the computer. And, but look, Gaia doesn't provide anything that is unique to them, okay? And here's the thing with Gaia. Everything, all of these layers here, right, they all are public information. You can find all of this information for free on other websites, public lands, private lands, uh, weather, all of this stuff, all of it. It's all publicly available. What they do is they have a nice mobile-friendly way of putting all of that information together in nice stackable layers, okay? That's what they do really good. <laughs> a lot of the old, like county assessor websites, stuff like that that you can get private property information, they're very clunky websites that have not been updated. They're not going to be working on your phone, tablet. Like you need to be on a computer and there's inherent built-in problems with that. So for me, doing what I do, I find the streamlining of that information to be worth it. So I pay for it, but you don't have to. Um, and that's... That's what's going on with these things. So really, you know, I invite everybody to verify every single thing and verify the stuff that I say. You know, I try to uh, be very upfront with people and very honest about, oh, I found these crystals, but they're very tiny and they're maybe not worth driving out of your way for and, and that. But if you're in the area, go check it out. That type of thing, right? I'm not just like, crystals, go there. Um, so, yeah, definitely check out these links. Definitely question things. You know, if some, if somebody's trying to just sell you stuff, um, 
question what they have to say, I guess. I guess that's the moral here. Moral of my story, you know, thanks for coming out. Listen to me talk about it. Um, and I really prefer uh, more happy, upbeat videos uh, where I don't kind of rain on people's parades. But, man, you know, it really bothers me when um, I think of people, groups, books, whatever, kind of almost wrecking uh, rock counting for people by almost ensuring, almost ensuring that they're going to have a bad time, you know. Um, I don't like that. I just don't. I want people to go out, go find cool material, have fun, do some exploring. Not and if you're gonna go track down a a, a rumor or a wild, go on a wild goose chase, that you know that you're doing that. Okay. A lot of people don't have infinite time to go chase things down. They kind of have weekends. They have one weekend a month to go maybe take a little overnighter or go a day trip, and just by saying like go out to this lake, get this, is very misleading, very deceptive, and all in the name of making money. So, there we go. I think that about sums up what I would like to share with you today. Um, I know this is a little bit of a different type of video than I uh, normally make, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys like it, though. Um, we'll be getting right back into the normal swing of things after this, you know, doing some rock hunting, doing some shop stuff, and doing some educational stuff. And uh, as always, hey, I really appreciate all of you. I like to think that we have a the most solid, solid community of people here. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna leave that one there. Y'all take care.